Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to disassemble the cover mechanism on this vintage Thorin's Double Claw Table Lighter Insert. I was on the Thorns Lighter Facebook group over the weekend and saw a question from a fellow named Chris Barkley about one of the springs in this mechanism. Now this is a lighter that we have been tinkering around with for a while. We've had a few videos on it. And I have basically already promised this lighter to our buddy Jay Sales. So Jay, I hope that I do not tear this lighter up in the process. The lighter has at times lit very reliably, but then other times, especially when we are making a video and trying to light it one right after the other, then it seems like it is a one out of every three proposition, pretty much like clockwork. So I don't figure it can hurt to take this mechanism apart, disassemble it, clean it, hopefully give a demonstration of how that spring is supposed to be installed in the lighter. And then at the same time, have a more reliable lighter that we can pass on to our buddy Jay. So we're going to need to get a screwdriver on both sides of this pin that runs through the back hinge. And that screwdriver actually seems like it may be a little bit big. So we will use the smaller one. And I think because of the way that the mechanism is steady enough just sitting there, we should be able to do this with two hands and not have to resort to our vise with the screwdriver installed in it. So here we go. Very tight. Get our handy vise in here and we will place the backside screw on the screwdriver that is in the vise and then we will get the screwdriver that is in my left hand on this top screw. Please excuse the back of my hand here. I sped this footage up accidentally blocking the view of the camera with my hand but you can see that the cap has backed out of that hinge pin screw. We are attempting to loosen the screw and the screw is very tight so I have had to set it down onto this screwdriver that is being held in place in this vise and that should hold everything well enough if I could keep my hand out of the way which is very difficult to do here. Let's see if I can move this slightly. So we will finish backing that screw out and keep in mind that you may need an extra hand such as this vise in order to accomplish removing that screw. Just like you do with the fulcrum screws and caps in a lot of the old Ronson automatic lighters, same goes here with this Thorns lighter. So we are going to take care to keep everything lined up as we disassemble this mechanism. And this is the first time that I've ever attempted this particular project, so I have no experience with taking this cover off of the Thorns Double Claw and I should have, before I took that loose, disengaged the claw. So that's what we're going to do now. 
This way when we remove the hinge pin, then that entire cover assembly will come off as one unit and be self-contained. Shouldn't have parts flying around or being lost. We can remove that fulcrum or hinge pin, whatever that would be called. Now remove that entire assembly off of the lower mechanism of the lighter. So now we can take a look at our screw, which this is, or I should say spring. This spring is what holds the flint down in position. Also provides the spring tension for the lid to fly open when the button is actuated. And I don't know that we need to take this spring out of this cover that it is in, but it is designed to come out of there. Okay, so now we have the spring out and the cover for that spring, which has the printing that can be read from the back of the lighter. Now, if I understand correctly, the question that Chris Barkley was asking on the Thorns Lighter Facebook group page was regarding this spring right here. You can see that on this side it... Yeah, let me grab a pick to clear this out with. You can see that that mechanism or that spring, first of all there's some material gathering here in the back, dust and other I don't know, it kind of looks like stringy wick type material. Very small. So we'll get that cleaned up. But there is a short arm that comes off that spring that is seated up here in the front. And then the rest of it is resting, the long piece is resting there in the back. So our next move is going to be to loosen up the screws that are holding the claw into place. Alright, so that screw was snug, but came loose alright. Just a tiny little inset screw. Now to the other side. And it looks like we are going to need two screwdrivers again. So we will put that screwdriver through that hole and hold it there. And loosen that up with... That one is a little bit big. Okay, so that loosened that up. Sorry, my hand was in the way, but you can see that is how we would tighten that back up, and that is how we are loosening it. So you can see that backing off. There 
and the screw fell out. Now let's take a look. There is the screw that is holding the inside of that spring. Okay, so now I can see a little bit better what Chris was seeing and this big long tail that he was talking about and the way that that was fit in there was that right angle was pretty much even with the back of the lighter there and it just fit right down in there Chris. Let's get all these parts cleaned up and then we will see about getting this mechanism reassembled. Until next time.